planning the writing course requires language teachers to assess all those elements which have already been discussed for example the goals for example institutional constraints and decisions about the content so to measure those elements in an appropriate manner is the main job of the language teacher and remember that another job of the language teacher is to do the needs analysis and align that needs analysis with her own ideology as a language teacher so there are many uh, important factors or elements for example the amongst them is the most important one is the content which we have already discussed then the organization and how to structure the draft with with a clear introduction the body parts and the conclusion and then the originality and the voice of the writer the style the style is driven by the sort of audience the writer is writing for fluency is there uh, linking devices used appropriately accuracy or appropriate rhetorical forms um like comparison and contrast classification argumentation so we will have to offer proper justification of a writing course and this justification can better be seen when we properly assess these elements so as i said before that language teachers this is what i do when i teach any writing course i do needs analysis and then i try to sort of find out my own perceptions as a language teacher my own cognitions my own beliefs and then sort of try to see whether my perceptions match the needs of the students or not if not what sort of balance could be made so this is how a language teacher need to make decisions early 1960s saw um uh, sort of conventional way of teaching writing which was uh, grammar was seen as a discrete element decontextualized element and that was practiced and by decontextualized i mean students didn't have any context they just wrote used to write for the sake of writing and they would write dozens of sentences and these sentences were written in a much more controlled and guided manner and even apart from sentences the students were uh, asked to write paragraphs under sheltered environment where teacher would provide shelter and this might not encourage students to think out of the black box then writing was recognized with uh, i mean 1980s as a messy and chaotic and this is when we saw like the interactionism or socio culturalism as th the main theoretical constructs and this is what the first time that it was recognized that writing is not um, a straightforward and easy and there is no like magic formula and this is not like uh, you give instructions and sort of assemble a toy and that's your job is done no not at all rather uh, it's it's much more messy but the problem what the research suggests that the teacher don't like mess they want um, they want their students most of them want their students write clearly originally and appropriately and this might come into conflict with teachers perceptions and uh, cognitions or practices right so what's more important when you want to assess these elements of writing when you go into the classroom you sort of do needs analysis and these courses when we plan a writing course should address a theme and there should be theme driven or issues of identity issues of culture or issues of uh, education so what i mean to say is that we need to emphasize our students to focus on critical reading reading 
critically generating ideas not reading passively rather proactively and expressing those ideas with clarity organization style and accuracy